Hi folks, uh, today we're going to do uh, properties in algebra. This is Algebra 1 IXL. Um, I'm going to look at the H section and we're going to start with properties of addition and multiplication. Now I haven't even tried them yet, so hopefully I'll like them. Uh, I'm sure I will and they'll probably go very quickly because it's all knowledge based, I would assume. Although I don't know, I haven't tried them yet. So here we go, H1. Properties of addition and multiplication. Uh, what property is shown? Uh, let's take a look. Well, they did, did they regroup? They grouped the P times the Q uh, times R, and then they grouped the Q and the R together. So they're regrouping, which is the associative property of multiplication. A really good trick is when they switch the, um, the multiplication, but they have a grouping symbol in it. This is the associative property. Uh, which property of multiplication is shown here? Oh, wait. Which equation shows the identity property of multiplication? Identity property of multiplication says you get the identical thing back when you multiply by one. Wait a minute. It's not, it's not coming. Why isn't it showing up? Hmm. I think I got a problem with my uh, connection. Hang on just a second. I'm gonna try again. I think it wasn't updating, sorry. Let's try it again. Come on, update. There it is. Okay, uh, J times one equals J is the identity property of multiplication. Uh, we'll do some more in just a minute. Which equation shows the commutative property of multiplication? Well, clearly you can change multiplication around. This is changing the order of multiplication, which is this one. Uh, this is the identity property of addition says that a number plus zero is equal to the number. There's no change when you add zero. Uh, which property of multiplication is shown? Uh, we distributed the G over subtraction. So this is the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Uh, this is the zero property of multiplication. Multiplying by zero always gives you zero. Uh, this is the uh, commutative property of addition. Uh, the zero property of multiplication says you get zero when you multiply. Uh, this one, we did regrouping, which is the associative. Hopefully we'll get one where they try to trick us. Uh, commutative property of multiplication. Okay, it's a little hard to see because it looks like they're doing some distribution. There it is. Change the order of multiplication there. Uh, commutative of addition is right here. We just changed the order. Uh, property of multiplication is shown. It looks like they distribute it. Uh, this is the identity property of multiplication. And this one is, they reassociated. Uh, use the properties of multiplication. So uh, what value of y? Well, duh, 63. Uh, this one says Q is equal to 62. This one says U is zero. And 
this one says that we added six. Uh, and it's the same as adding 18 on the outside. So we u is the same as 18, and we're using the associative property and reassociating it. In this one, it's one. We're using, uh, sorry, zero. We're using the identity property of addition. And we're almost done, good. Uh, in this one, we're uh, using the commutative property of addition. That is 457.5. No need to go to all the trouble of adding the 17 and then subtracting it from both sides, of course. This one we're multiplying by one to make it true. That's called the uh, identity property of multiplication. In this one, we're adding zero to the 397, and then we're adding the 153.9 uh, using the associative property. Uh, this one, the R is, looks like it's the uh, 961.9. want to make sure I don't make a decimal error there. Uh, this one looks like the T is missing the zero because we have all three numbers on the other side. So the only thing we need to add is the zero so that the two sides will be equal. That's the identity of addition. And we did the commutative property here, 369. And again, we use the commutative property, 03.61. And of course, D is equal to 767. And one last one, uh, it looks like we are using the distributive property here, uh, and it's 341. Interesting that this one could be really difficult if you didn't use your brain and you just multiplied it all out and did the um, did the uh, algebra for it. Looks like that H is 341 there. And we're done. So you know your properties, it's always good to practice them a little bit. And this was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Bye.